All right. Wanted to show you guys one of the first bases I've made, uh, cigar box bases. This is actually the second one, and I made this specifically for a guy named Jay. Um, he specified he wanted between a 26 and a 30 inch scale, so this one's a 30 inch. Um, and he specified he wanted three strings using weed whacker line. So the rest was more or less up to me. Um, it's a tabac box. I thought a nice deep box would be a uh, good sound. Um, I put a few sound holes, but mainly uh, since it's weed whacker line, it's based on an electric bass. Um, but it does allow for air to travel through there and, and maybe uh, actually help the sound once it's plugged in. Um, does have a volume knob. I've got two uh, piezos wired in series uh, up underneath the bridge. You've got my anchor here for the strings. And then I use eye bolts for the tuners. To tune these, you actually use a wrench or vice grips. And once you get t good tension on there, you lock down the wing nuts here. And then you just basically twist. It's a little hard with the weed whacker line, just like it probably would be for bass strings. But once you get it locked in, it stays pretty good um, once you get them stretched. And it's almost like locking tuners. Um, I tried using traditional tuners, but because the, the strings are so thick, it would not work. Um, I'm using 0.15 for the top string, which isn't tuned to E. I'm using 0.95 for the, the string tuned to A and then 0.85 which is the string tuned to D so tuned just like a traditional bass and can't really hear it very well until I turn it up and then you hear it pretty good and you can hear I'm using a pick just so you can sort of hear here. I know it's sacrilege to try and play bass with a pick. Um, I'm not a bass uh, I'm not a bass player but I'm a guy who sometimes can play bass so uh, So it sounds like a bass. Um, strings are uh, spaced pretty decently compared to a silver tone bass I have. Um, that was my first problem with the first bass I built um, to try this. how close the strings are but then also the action on this one is redonkulous I mean nothing short of redonkulous where the action on that one over there is actually pretty good it still uses a bolt for the, the uh, nut but you can see the action is much much better compared I, I was able to lower it considerably And it, and it actually intonates much better. That one you almost have to play on the fret markers, where this one you can actually play where you should, um, pretty much just to having to play it on the, where the fret would be. Jay, I, I really hope you enjoy it uh, most of all. So, thanks.